Hey y'all, welcome to Priscilla's Kitchen. Today, look what we got. This is Obono. Obono in Nigeria is um, mango like a fruit. Okay? It goes by different names. Um, African, uh, um, African mango, bush mango, you name it. But hey, just to keep it Nigerian, it is Obono. So it is um, a mango like fruit. This is its kernel. So it is, um, it is nutrient rich, really very, it's high fat and high proteinous. It does also have uh, other minerals and nutrients that come from it. Okay. I'll let you do that research. But for today, what I want you to understand is the character of Obono. Obono is, um, is slimy in nature. Like you would have okra, right? As dry as this is, once you hydrate it and ground it, it becomes very slimy. So Nigerians use it a lot in dunking their fufu into and eating it. My boys love anything slimy. Now, not every other thing, but okra. They love okra, so they love obono. But they don't want vegetable to eat. Absolutely not. But come on, mothers. Like, I do everything these boys want. How about me, though, in the equation? Huh? So today, I wanted to really go back to how I grew up. We cook obono with bitter leaves. Tons of it. So it's not going to be one of those very bright kind of soup because of the presence of dry obono, especially because I don't have access to fresh uh, bitter leaf, right? So I'm using dry one, smoked fish, everything that is brown and darker in nature. So I don't want to, I don't want you to feel disappointed and ask, why are you not adding a lot of oil? This thing has fat, so you don't want to add too much palm oil. Every day you know better. I'm expecting us Nigerians and Africans to do better, right? We got to go for uh, healthier alternatives or options. Reduce so many things and put swap in the right stuff. So today, fingers crossed, I'm really hungry for bono soup. But I don't want my boys to not eat it. They need to know too where I come from, right? Can't be their way all the time. Hey, if you're a mother, raise your hands. If you're, just, if you're like me, struggling with some things, right? You have to give up everything for your family. All right, enough talking. Let's get into the kitchen. Obono soup. Is the crave for today and I'm gonna soup my way, mother's way. All right, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the kitchen. Pull up your chair. Thank you for tuning in. And it's if it is your first time, welcome to Priscilla's Kitchen. And my name is Priscilla Yomeda. I'll see you in the kitchen. So, into this pan, I'm going to be adding my pack cooked uh, goat meal. This is halal type. So, Bear with me. So, so halal type is all because of religious reason and how it's cooked, okay? And how it's uh, skilled. So this is goat meal, skinless uh, type, all right? I, I do have a croaker fish in here and some beef all right then i'm going to add onions these are small diced onion i'm going to add crawfish if you've been watching my video you know what this is now so into this this is one time i'm going to add maggi and that's because so i'm using a brand of uh no hey all you uh folks out there if you are saying seasoning cube is an umbrella name for the different variation of cubes right of cobillons so if you're telling people, if you're using Maggi, tell people I'm using Maggi. So what I added was about like a, um, two and a half cups of liquid. That is the, the stock of the pack cooked goat meat. All right. So then I'm going to add my ground peppers and onions. Into this, I'll tell you why. I'm adding a dried bitter leaf. If I were in Nigeria, I would be using a fresh one. I'm not in Nigeria, so I have access to the dry one. Okay, so in order to achieve some bitterness exactly as I desire, I'm going to add it now so that the longer it cooks, the better for me. Okay, all right, because first it's going to hydrate, you know what I mean? So into this soup, there will be no, I'm going to add my palm oil. This is about a quarter cup. I'm going to just cover and let this come to boil. I will see you soon once we bring this to a boil and let it simmer for good 20 minutes. Once we come back, We'll be adding the next few items and we are on our way to a fantastic obono soup. All right, see you soon. All right, welcome back. This is barely uh, 15 minutes into it. Here you go. This is what obono is. So this 
this is about the quarter cup of that, what I just showed you, that I uh, personally uh, hydrated. I mean, I toasted. Okay, so I toasted it. And then I actually ground it in my coffee grinder. So I have two types of coffee grinder. One of them is for is for uh, coffee and the other one is for ingredients like this okay now here is why this soup is not going to be the bright yellow like what well, that's because i control the amount of fat and oil that i put in my food okay i want to be very clear about that and i also added bitter leaf bitter leaf that has been dried over time is definitely going to darken your soup so in order to brighten this and make it really, really bright, perhaps compared to what you see out there, will be by making this, uh, by adding tons of palm oil. And I'm, I'm, I have been clear in all my videos, just because palm oil is plant-based, it doesn't mean that it's not, it doesn't have high calories. So be mindful of that, okay? So here is the deal. Somebody might ask, why would you want to put a dry fish now? I'm putting dry fish, here we go, all right? I'm putting it because I do need some dry fish into this soup, okay? Because of the umami and the smokiness it, it produces. But this fish here is so quick to cook. I am going to cover and then I will come back simply. See, every vegetable and all of that had been added. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, just all right? So I'm going to cover this and when we come back, I am letting this cook for just about for uh four minutes hey y'all welcome back to priscilla's kitchen if you're tuning in for the first time please go ahead and subscribe this is the way i know it growing up okay so i'm going to test okay for seasoning mm -hmm. mm. Mm. are you serious this takes me exactly to my childhood growing up mm. delicious depending on what region of africa or nigeria you travel to one recipe is going to be interpreted different ways because nigeria is actually a country with over 250 languages how can you put that in one basket thank you for watching please like share and subscribe i'm going to show you the finishing product i've just made my fufu i will show you next what it looks like Please reproduce this in your kitchen. It's very easy. Okay, have it a fair way, the way I've just had it. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.